so many people. Hello. Hi, kids. What's new? Oh, I'm talking to you. That's not a crazy villainess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, while well, he was interested in Kara, she wasn't crazy, although she has been a villain. Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, at this point, he and Lyra are still going strong. And I think he's trying, you know, I think he's had an influence on her and kind of sort of tamed her a bit. But, you know, the beast is still there within. So uh, we'll see where that takes them uh, as, the se as the season progresses. How will that continue sort of with his role on Team Guardian? I don't know how that's going to conflict with his role on Team Guardian, but I think, I think eventually is sort of day and night sort of DEO Guardian thing is going to catch up to him uh, and James because it's uh, it's a lot to ask of, of, of uh, normal human beings to, to kind of work that much. Speaking, oh, speaking of that dynamic, um, how fun is it to play you and uh, the pod to play off each other? Oh, we have a great time. I mean, we're both like complete idiots. <laughs> so we just, uh, just ham it up all the time and we blow so many takes because we're just being stupid and uh, we try to have a, we try to have a, a really good time and uh, and I don't know for some reason we just feed off each other's energy really well. It's kind of a yin and yang sort of thing um, and and it's funny because you know if he's being super serious, I'm always in a light mood and it's always the, uh, we, we kind of bring each other to equilibrium. So it's, we have a, we have a good time. Yeah. So. Oh. So we saw Wynn's, you know, direction going from Catco to Dio, so are you happy and what are you most looking forward to exploring again, you know, this next season and seeing that role kind of expand and... Uh, well, you know, I think he's come, he's, he's gained a lot of confidence since season one, you know, he didn't really have any idea of what he was really capable of until he was allowed to go work the DEO and now he's just living his best life. He loves his job, I mean, he loves the people he works with. I think he's continuing to gain confidence, you know, he's, he's taking more of a leadership role this, se this season at the DEO and, um, you know, we'll see where that takes him. Can you tease anything about that leadership role? Uh, I wish I could, but I don't really know, uh, except for just a couple moments where I yell at people. <laughs> <laughs> this season, uh, Kevin Smith got to watch a couple episodes. Really like oh that. yeah, last season he is a dream, man. He really brought a great energy, a, a light to the uh, to the proceedings. You know, we were everybody was always clapping and applauding. There's a lot of laughter. And, and you know things went by really quickly and and really gave us the freedom that you know is kind of necessary for actors on a TV show to have you know you have different directors coming in and sometimes they can take over and it's just takes over the, and the energy kind of shifts and becomes hostile and it was the opposite you know? It's really great. Are you looking for any more singing possibly in the future? <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool, but I don't know if it'll happen to be honest with you. Man. I, I'm a singer. I've always been. I've done a lot of, of uh, you know, musical stuff. Uh, I'm working on an album of my own right now, but in terms of Supergirl, I don't know, you know? I think that they really struck gold with the, uh, with the last with the last uh, musical episode and I think for now they're probably gonna let that sit with people and they don't wanna mess with it but um, that's not to say that it won't happen again. These shows will be around for a while. I can't Thank you. Thank you.